Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. Today's going to be a super short video where I show you the easiest way to make your hot cocoa bombs gold. Well, actually you can use this technique with any edible shimmer powder like silver or red and green for Christmas. I'll also show you how you can easily turn your plain metallic bombs into ornaments. So let's get started. Here are the supplies that you'll need. Some hot cocoa bombs. If you'd like to see a video on how to make these easy, click the card above. Edible gold luster dust or any other edible shimmer powder color that you like. Some small round sprinkles like these. Some food safe gloves. And if you want to turn your spheres into ornaments, you'll need some chocolate or candy melts and a parchment paper piping bag and piece of parchment paper. Covering the bombs is the fun part and it's super easy. You'll want to grab a bowl that's deep enough that uh, you can fit at least half the bomb in without it scratching the bottom. That's really important. And then you'll want to fill it, the bowl up with enough sprinkles that also you can easily dip half the bomb in without it hitting the bottom. If it hits the bottom and rubs against the sprinkles, it will scratch the chocolate and this is enough. So you'll just take the edible powder and it, this isn't an exact thing. I'm going to put about this much in and stir it till all the sprinkles are coated. And if they look pretty gold, it should be enough. None of them are really still white. So we'll give this a try. I'm going to use gloves to avoid fingerprints. And you know, for cleanliness. <laughs> so I'll start with one of the plain bombs that I have and Basically, just going to dip it half in and rub it around in a circle like this. And I can rotate it. I'm trying to touch it as little as possible with my fingers, but it's kind of inevitable. What you can do is if you are making these into ornaments where you'll put the topper, um, you can touch it, uh, touch the bomb there and then only leave the final fingerprints in those spots. So I'll keep my fingers in the same place and give it one final coating all over the full bomb. 
and that's how sparkly and shiny it ends up and it's like you can't get an even coat this good and if you use a paintbrush there's always paint strokes so i love this technique and it's so easy and fast okay so i'll just set it aside and let's try one of these with the designs I love the ones with texture. They look so cool. I can't wait to do the other one. Okay. So I'm just rolling it around until I'm satisfied, basically. You just do it till you're finished. Oh. That one looks cool. If you feel like the gold's running out, I don't really, but I'm just going to add a little bit more um, to make it easier. Um, yeah, you can always just add in some more shimmer dust. Okay, this one is going to be a fun one. I piped a pattern, like kind of round, mandala patterns around the whole sphere. So the gold is really going to bring out the piping. That's bright, <laughs> really gold. It looks a lot golder in the camera than it does in real life, but it's really nice. I like it. And one more thing you can do, if you have like regular cocoa bombs with drizzle, you can also add shimmer to them. It won't like cover the whole thing, but it will, you know, just make them a little shiny. So it can be fun to do that as well. Gold on the bottom, drizzle on top. like that. And um, the reason I use dark chocolate is it stands out a lot better on, uh, the gold stands out a lot better on dark chocolate. So I'll show you what white looks like. It's not quite as pretty, but you can also add shimmer to white. You can use silver on white, it looks good. There you go. Now for the ornament tops, I'm going to start by piping a circle about as big as I want the little top uh, piece to be. That circle, I don't know what that's called. Does it have a name? <laughs> um, that holds the hook. So I just do that by putting the piping bag against the parchment and squeezing till I have some circles like that. And then I'm going to add some height to them just by kind of spiraling them up. I want to keep them kind of flat. So I start in the middle and add to them like this. And then over here, different spot on your parchment paper. You'll just pipe little circles with a hole in the middle, like a loop. Try to make them smooth, thick enough that they won't break. This will be the hook that holds the string. Now to finish off the ornament, I 
like to use a cookie cutter to hold it. And I'm just going to put a little bit of chocolate or candy melts on the top and glue down my the base of my hook. And then I like to add some chocolate to the bottom edge so that uh, it fills in that bottom gap. And then I like to add a bit of texture. I just do like a kind of scallop to look like that base that you see on ornaments. So I just do like a sc scooping pattern. So it has that edge at the bottom. And then I pick one of the loops. made out of the candy melts and just a dot of candy melt there and carefully set that loop on like that and then let it set up and dry and then to add metallic to this top piece you can either use the method that we used in the video if you want it to be gold, but I like the contrast, so I'm going to actually make mine silver and just to give it a little bit different texture and so that I don't accidentally get silver on the gold ornament, I'm just going to paint it really quick with lemon extract and edible silver shimmer powder. Then after your paint dries, you can really make it look like an ornament by adding a string. Of course, you can't eat the string. <laughs> You'll have to take it off before you use the bomb, but it's really cute to me to add the string because then it really looks just like an ornament. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a like below and leave me a comment. It helps me out a lot. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see some more fun holiday videos, check out this playlist. Thanks so much for watching today and I'll see you soon, bye.